All right, mathletes, let's get into question number 27. Hayden saved $1420, $1,420, and Michelle saved $505. After they each spend an equal amount of money, Hayden had four times as much money as Michelle. In dollars, how much did each of them spend? So what is not known to us is what amount did they uh spend right so for example let's assume that uh, they must have a spend question mark so after the spending hadden would have left 1420 minus question mark this is the amount that he had uh left after spending and michelle would have left 505 minus question mark and this is uh now um hadn't had four times as much money as michelle that also means that one four two zero minus question mark equals four times as much money as michelle after spending right so four times that of michelle and how much michelle has left now 505 minus question mark okay all right so one four two zero minus question mark would be equals to four is going to be multiplied with 505 which will be 2020 minus four times question mark okay and here you will have four 1420 minus question mark i don't have a space here so let's get uh this way okay so what do we have left here so four uh if you know algebra uh, we we would have three times of question mark equals 2020 minus 1420 minus so three times of question mark equals uh, if you will subtract this with uh, the other one would you would have left 600 right so question mark would be 600 divided by 3 that would be 200 so what was the question mark in our uh, solution we assume that the question mark was the amount that they spent and what is the question asking how much did they each of them spend because they spent equal amount of money so they spend 200 that is going to be our answer right so let's move into the next question question number 28 the block pattern below has one block in the first tower four blocks in the second tower nine blocks in the third tower okay and so on how many blocks are needed to make all of the first 10 towers in this pattern so one two three and they are saying how many blocks are needed to make all of the first 10 towers so and so on until 10 okay so for the first tower how many you have blocks one okay and for the second tower how many blocks do you have four for the third tower how many blocks do you need nine so do you see some sort of pattern here that you are just multiplying it uh, with the self number and then um, that is the number of blocks that you would require to make a tower so similarly for the tenth tower uh, what how many would you need ten times ten is hundred and the question is asking how many blocks are needed to make all of the first 10 towers in this pattern right so what you need to do is you need to add it all together 1 plus 4 plus 9 next number would be 16 then 
25 and so on until 100 so there are a few additions that you should keep in mind always remember just for the quicker uh, turnaround or you can also perform the smart addition here so the addition and the total would be for the first uh, 10 uh, number of squares would be 385 just to save time since I know uh, but you can perform the smart addition or you can memorize some smart answers as well uh, the, the total of uh, the sum of the numbers okay all right let's get into the next question Verity has six cards with digits one two three four five and six she arranges them to form three two digit numbers okay only her first number is a multiple of four so she has one, two, three, four, five, and six cards. She needs to make three two digits number. There are six numbers, so of course you would be able to make only three two digits number. When she makes the first number, uh, it's going to be multiple of four. Only the first number. So, and then only her second number is a multiple of five third number is a multiple of six right so you need to keep in mind that when you choose a first number it shouldn't be multiple of five it shouldn't be multiple of 16 so if we think about numbers which, is, which are going to be the multiple of four uh, of course we know that one two twelve then uh, one and six correct either of this or this then if you are choosing two four right then three six correct any other number that you think of four two no not a four two um nothing else nothing else so 12 is going to be multiple of 6 2 so not our answer uh, 16 is definitely not going to be multiple of uh, 6 or 5 so it could be uh, 24 is also multiple of 6 so not our answer and 36 is as well going to be uh, multiple of 6 so not our answer so probably the first number that she might think would be um, basically 16 here okay now let's find out the multiple of 6 okay so multiple of 6 as you know that we have already taken uh, 1 and 6 we can't take 5 as a once because it would uh, be multiple of 5 then we need to think of some numbers so 1 and 6 are gone uh, all right we have 2 3 4 5 so let's make some numbers for the multiple of six two four first number and uh, right or four two correct any other five four but you can't take five because the sec in order to choose the second number it, it must be holding ones as five so you need to secure five for the uh, for the second uh, number right that is going to be multiple of 5 so you can't take 54 so you are left with only two choices 24 and 42 um, so you need to decide which one is gonna be uh, it can be 24 or it can be 20 uh, 42 as well so however the condition says that only her third digit number is a multiple of six so it should not be multiple of other numbers like five or four however with 24 it is going to be the multiple of four as well so we, we are ruling this out 42 is only number which is neither multiple of four nor five so it is definitely fits into our uh, all equations then the last number so let's cross out four and two we have two numbers left and that number second number has to be multiple of five in order to get the multiple of five it has to end or hold the first digit as five so we have third number as 
35. So we have 16, 35, all right, and 42. Perfect. Okay, let's go into the next question. Okay, I want to place the number 1 to 10 in the diagram with one number in each circle. On each of these sides, the four numbers add to a side total, okay? And the three side totals are all the same. Since the question is asking what is the smallest number that is going to be the side total could be, right? So we should pick the smallest number uh, for all the three sides that would be filling in um, and leaving the 10 aside just for the center, okay? So we need to focus for from numbers from 1 to 9, 1, 2, 3, up to 9, all right? Since we know that the side total of all the three sides are going to be same, uh, as you know that for the each side, there is going to be a common corner. So if we say that uh, for this side plus this side plus this side, basically what we are ending up with, we are adding the corners twice. So this corner is common for this side as well as this side. Uh, similarly, for this corner is going to be common for this side as well as this side. So what we are ending up with adding 1 plus 2 plus 3. We are not sure what numbers uh, is placed on which circle, right? But what we know that definitely it is from 1 to 9. And uh, if we do the total and so on and so forth, we also are left with one round of some of the corners, right? Some of three corners that we are not sure what number would be. So, some of three corners, some of corners, three corners, remember. All right. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3, you can perform a, star, a smart addition. It would be 45, okay? So this is basically what we are doing is summing all the sides up. They, in the question that it, uh, it's been mentioned that each side is equal to a side total. So if we add all three sides together, you will end up with three times of side total, correct? It, it can be any number that we are not sure for at this point. So three times of side total equals uh, one plus two plus three and so on until plus nine plus sum of three corners as I just now explained that the corners are common. So uh, we first perform the addition for first from nine numbers and then add an, uh, three corners again. So what we know that for a total from 1 to 9, it's going to be 45 plus sum of three corners. So remember, in this question, a lot of assumption uh, need to be performed. Okay, so just be ready for that. And here we have three times of side total. When we are doing the three times of side total, that indicates definitely my side total would be multiple of three. Right, when you're multiplying it three, and on the right hand side also, uh, you have a 45 that is also definitely a multiple of three, right? And sum of three corners. So remember that uh, side total is going to be same. So we need to perform some assumption here. With this equation, three times of side total equals 45 plus sum of three corner. Uh, what? we know for sure that our side total for three sides would be definitely something more than 45, right? So let's start assuming that if you add any number to 45, that total must be divisible by three because you have three times of side total on the left. Then if you finally you need to figure out what is the smallest number for the side total. So in order to calculate the side total, you must be able to fully divide the number at the right. 
what you don't know is the sum of three corners right for that you need to assume and since the question is asking smallest and you know the range is going to be from one two three four you need to start pick up the number which are smallest so of course we would start by picking up one two and three so uh, if we add it together let's assume that one two three are placed in all three corners we don't know where but it doesn't matter we just know the total for sure will be six so if we pick one two three and we add it together which is going to be six we know that it's going to be 51 right so three times of side total equals 51 then side total would be 17 so finally in the first attempt very first attempt we managed to find out a number a side total which is also divisible to 3 multiple of 3 equals 51 divided by 3 so it's gonna be 17 that is going to be our answer because we don't have to perform further uh, actions here by choosing one another pattern because finally we have the smallest number which is this so that is going to be our answer just be careful do not spend time in uh, finding more options because the question is very simple they are asking about the smallest number what if they were asking about the largest number then definitely you would have uh, started by finding the combination of the largest number maybe nine eight seven right so this is how we, we will calculate so thank you for watching and being patient uh, from question number 1 until 30. I hope you really found it uh, useful. Uh, do let me know your feedback in the comment section. Uh, and let me know if you have any other topics in mind that you want me to cover or any other uh, year paper that you want me to cover. So thank you. Bye for now.